Okay, September 23rd, 2017. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? The last time I made a video just like this, it was 2000. It was September 23rd, 2015. And I made a video saying what I think is going to happen. Is the world going to end? Is the rapture going to happen? Here's what here's what I here's the conclusion I came to way back at, 2 years ago, September 23rd, 2015. I said, the gospel is out. That's it. That's it. And where did I get that conclusion? Two years ago from Revelation 14. And the reason I came to that conclusion is everybody was saying, oh, the, the rapture is going to happen. The rapture is going to happen. And I said, and they were saying, oh, a, an asteroid is going to hit the earth. And I looked at the Bible and I said, none of that can happen because look at Revelation chapter 14. Revelation 14, 6 gives a sequence of events. The gospel goes out to every nation, language, tribe, and people. And then Babylon the Great falls. Okay? And then, then the mark of the beast comes out. Then there's great persecution. Then the rapture. Okay? So I was trying to tell people, the rapture can't happen until first, one, Babylon the Great falls. Two, the mark of the beast comes out. So, what's happening September 20... Uh, 23rd, 2015, I said the gospel is out to every nation, language, tribe, and people. God officially says that mission is complete. So now it's two years later. In that video, two years ago, I said, now the next event to happen is Babylon the Great Falls. That was in 2015. I said, on September 23rd, 2015, the gospel is out. After that, Babylon the Great could fall at any time. Well, now it's two years later and we get another sign in the heaven. Now, Babylon the Great falling is kind of a big, important event. It's a worldwide event. It's thermonuclear war. It, it lasts only one hour. And at the end of it, there's a time of no wind. So here's what I'm saying about September 23rd, 2017. That's your sign that World War III is going to happen. Thermonuclear war worldwide, and it's the sixth seal of Revelation. And the sixth seal of Revelation says that there's an earthquake, and then the stars fall from the sky, and then the sky is rolled up like a scroll, and at that time everybody's hiding in the dens of the rocks, calling out to God. The dens of the rocks, those are bomb shelters and fallout shelters, and at the very end of it, it says there's a time of no wind. That's how you know it's a sixth seal. After World War III, no wind. So what is going to happen September 23rd, 2017? The sign in the sky is going to happen on that day. A sign always happens before the event. It just does. If you're if you if you're going to go so if you're driving to uh, New York City, you don't drive out of the city and it says a sign New York was 10 miles back. No. When you're driving towards the city, it'll say New York, 25 miles. The sign always goes before the actual event. That's why it's a sign. That's why when you walk into a, a building and you see a sign that says wet floor, slippery, you don't like walk in, slip and fall and then realize that the sign is over there. The point is, the sign happens first, you see. So what's going to happen September 23rd, 2017? There's going to be a sign in the sky. But it marks the coming of World War III, thermonuclear war. Then after World War III, okay, so the sign is going to happen. Then sometime after that, World War III is going to happen. And I'm thinking weeks, not months, okay? At this point, things are going, things are moving, okay? Maybe even days. Maybe it will happen on that day. I don't know. But I know on that day, there's going to be a sign in the sky, in the heavenlies, and the constellations are all going to line up, and there's going to be a woman with the sun right there, and she's got a little 
She's got another planet going around her little uterus, and she's got 12 stars up above her head, and the moon's under her feet. That's what's going to happen. But it's a sign to what's next. Okay, and since it took two years for the last sign to be finished, <laughs> but I'm going to just step out and say, starting at that time, get ready because World War III is going to happen. After World War III, there's a time of no wind. Then the mark of the beast comes out, okay? And there's seven nations with ten leaders that take over the United States, okay? Um, Revelation chapter 13 makes it clear. Uh, the first beast, I saw a beast rising out of the sea. That means that the beast, the Antichrist system, the government and regime of, of the Antichrist have a navy. They will rise out of the sea. They will attack Babylon the Great, which is America. America will be burned with fire. And World War III, actually, the brunt of it only lasts one hour. So there's actual nuclear exchange over, over the term of one hour. And at the end of it, the United States is destroyed. And then here comes Russia and China and North Korea and Iran. And then Canada is part of that. And then the ten leaders are like, it's ridiculous. It's Putin. You guys know. It's Putin. Kim Jong-un, uh, end time leader of the world. So what's going to happen September 23rd, 2017? There's going to be a sign in the sky. What's the sign mean and point to? It points to up ahead is World War III is coming and Babylon the Great will fall. <laughs>